this week the Gateway Bridge met another important milestone. The last pier has now been constructed and the central span has started to be uh, formed. This means that we are on track for this bridge to open on schedule in the second half of next year. This bridge will take between 15 and 20 minutes of the average trips uh, for people who use this, particularly in peak hour. This bridge will not only ease congestion and take time off the average trip, it is a very important generator of jobs. It is currently, there are 1,600 workers on this site and over the construction of the entire Gateway project over the four years, we will see some 6,000 jobs. 6,000 workers on this project in its lifetime. These projects are the projects that I am committed to building for Queensland. We will spend $12 million on a number of new initiatives. Firstly, uh, more than $6 million on two new mega trucks that will be able to move uh, semi-trailers which are in accidents, whether they are upright or fallen over. We know that there are a number of these accidents each and every week on some of our major arterial roads and they cause a big lot. With these two new trucks, and they can be in place by the middle of this year, we'll be able to move those semi-trailers very, very quickly. We also know that when there is an accident, uh, there is uh, often a delay in police and other emergency services getting the equipment they need to fix that accident and get it out of the way. Delays can be caused by bringing equipment that's necessary, like cameras and uh, orange cones, from a great distance. So we will introduce four new fixed fast incident response depots on our major arterial roads, and we will have three new mobile depots that can move quickly to an accident and clear it. All of that, uh, along with $630,000 for three special incident cameras that can take 363 photos, uh, which will help police to record the incident quickly and move it off the road. All of that adds up to $12 million worth of congestion busting on our roads here around the Brisbane area.